Hi there, my name is Chad, and this is your Moho tutorial for the week. I've been lately going over lip syncing techniques ranging from Moho to Animate CC. So I'm going to continue with that route. And in this video, we're going to talk about lip syncing using actions inside of Moho. Now, why would you choose this over the switch selector? Well, you have the ability to easily interpolate between mouth poses. But also, let's say you're not using Moho Pro 12. You might be using an earlier version of Anime Studio. This is just one more technique you can use to animate out a mouth without using a switch layer or the switch selector. So with that said, we're going to jump in and get started with today's tutorial. I'm currently inside of Moho and I have a file up and ready to go. I have a character and he's a bone rig. He has everything he needs except the mouth poses to lip sync. So I'm going to use the actions panel to set up these mouth poses. But first, I want to show you what I've done with this character. Because in order to create actions using this method, you'll need to have everything on one layer. And in the case of the head, we have the head, the teeth, the inner mouth, the tongue, all on one layer. So inside the layers panel, you'll see I have the head currently selected. And if I zoom in, you can see just based on the paths of the vectors, we have some things going on underneath the head. Well, if I take the transform points tool, just click once on the head and then click and drag to move that away, you'll see what I currently have going on here. We have an oval for the inner mouth, which is just a dark red oval. We have teeth made of rectangles that were bent and then repositioned. And then we have an oval for the tongue. In addition, we also have some face lines here to help with the animation. And let's say you had a character with a cigar in his mouth or a cigarette or something like that. Or perhaps you have dirt on the face and you want the dirt to animate along with the mouth as the jaw drops. You would have to have all that dirt or details on this layer along with everything else in order for this to work. So keep that in mind as we start to animate out using actions. I'm going to just undo this last move to bring the head back to where it was. Now it's time to create these poses. I'm going to use Command K or Control K if you're on Windows to bring up the actions panel. Then I want to make sure the head is selected. That's where I'm going to do the lip syncing. So the head is currently selected and I'm on frame zero. Let's go up here to the actions panel and click on new action from the list. Here, we're going to name this action E and then click OK. We are now inside of the new action. You can tell this because the timeline color changed and we're currently on frame one. We want to stay on frame one, we're inside the action, we're on the head, and I want to use the transform points tool. So let me zoom in here. I want to locate the mouth opening here. We're going to create the E pose for the head. So I'm just going to click and drag on these points. Oh, I don't want that one. I want this one right here because we want to drop the mouth down. So we'll just come in We'll drop this point down like so, that point like that, and we can do this one like this. From here, we could come in and situate the tongue so it's a little bit closer to the right edge, and then we can come in and barely show the teeth. So I'll click on each rectangle and just bring it down like this so we can see the teeth just a little bit like so. Let me zoom out. Finally, I want to drop the jaw just a little bit. So we're going to click once on this point and just bring it down a little bit. And we'll bring this bottom one down a little as well. And then we can bring this point in just a little bit. We also have a line right here for the chin. So we can just drop that a little bit. And we have this line right here. So we can click and drag and move that around. We could bend it and do whatever we need to do with it. Now, finally, before we back out of this action, 
use Command A or Control A if you're on Windows and click anywhere on the points just to ensure that you have locked all the points down. Once you have done that, we can back out and continue working. So I'm going to double click on main line to go back to the main timeline. And while still on frame zero, I'm going to create another action. So new action, we'll name this one AI for the A and I mouth pose, and then click OK. And we're going to repeat the process we did before, except now we're going to change the mouth pose even more. Since this is the A pose, the mouth will drop further than it did last time. So we'll just kind of come down like this, get that situated. Maybe bring this up just a little bit. You can adjust the top points a little bit if you want, but for the most part, we want them to stay close to where they originally were set. So like that, and then we can come in, drop the teeth down, come down like that. And maybe I can bring these up just a little bit more. And then the tongue can come all the way down like this, about right there. We can drop this line as well as that line. And then we're going to drop the jaw as well. So come out here. I'm just going to grab this point and bring it down. Bring that down. Bring this in. Finally, we will select all the points and just click once on one of the points to ensure that everything has been locked down. And we can then back out to the main timeline. We're going to do just one more. So we'll come in, we'll create a new action. We'll name this one closed. Click OK. And here, we're just going to take the closed pose we currently have, highlight everything, then click once to establish keyframes for all those points. And then we can back out to the main line. Once on the main line, let's ensure that we're on the head. And we can click on morphs now, because what we have done is created action morphs. And with the head selected, we can filter those out. And let's just jump now to a frame. So we can go to frame one, click once, and we'll insert a copy or a reference. It doesn't really matter which. If you use a reference, if you change the actions, such as the A or E action later on, those changes will be reflected on the timeline. But if you use a copy, you're simply just taking the parameters and copying and pasting them right on to the timeline. So we're just going to go with copy for right now. And we'll advance now to, let's just say, frame seven. And we can insert the A pose. And then we'll advance to frame 12. We'll insert the E pose. And then we'll advance to frame 18. And then we'll insert the closed pose. Now, if we come back and we scroll through this, you can see what's actually happening here is it's interpolating the movements. So as the mouth moves along here, we have different things happening and we're able to create these mouth poses. So we could go through and add even more poses. We could add the O pose. We could add the teeth pose. So if you need to make an S sound or a T sound and we could do the F and TH sounds and everything in between. So when you have all that set up, I'm just going to jump over now to a second file here. You can see I have the character situated and ready to go. On the actions panel, we now have all of those mouth poses in place and we have the audio file on the timeline so we can listen and sync things up. So if I hit the space bar, oh my God, Ted Danzen, you can hear the audio. So it's just a matter of then, let's just go to frame one, inserting a closed pose. And actually we don't have any audio up until around frame nine, so we can insert a second closed pose. Oh. Maybe at frame 12, we can insert the O pose. And then at 16, we can close it. And then at 21, we can use the I or A sound. And maybe at around 25, we use the E sound. 30 A sound. And then we use the teeth sound, the etc. pose to create the teeth pose so that we can use an S sound. Now, if I were to come back here to frame one. Oh my God. 
And that is a little bit about using actions to lip sync inside of Moho. You can do more than just lip sync. You could create actions for blinks, for any type of motion really that involves your character. You can invoke that action at any time. And the best part is everything is interpolated and ready to go. Just keep in mind that once you set up the face, you cannot add any more points. That's how actions work. They're going to work with the same points you placed down initially. So if you need to add more points, you'll need to remove those actions and start again. But once you have this down, you can reuse those mouth poses at any time with that character and use it as a template to build more mouth poses for your other characters. So hopefully this has opened your mind up to more possibilities. Thank you for watching. Please keep sending your comments and I'll see you next week.